Hey everyone, welcome back to QuantProf. Today we are going to solve a problem asked in an SIG quant interview. Check the description for more quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. Alice and Bob are playing a game with a pile of stones. Initially, there are 4,023 stones in the pile. In each turn, one can remove a number of stones that is a factor of the stones remaining. The one that removes the last stone loses. If Alice plays first, who will win if both players play optimally? This problem is easy. We will look at a harder follow-up problem at the end. Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. Let's start with simpler cases. What if there was only one stone in the pile to begin with? Alice would be forced to remove the stone and, hence, lose. What if there were two stones? Alice could remove one stone on her first turn, and Bob would have to remove the remaining stone on his turn. Hence, Alice would win. What if we started with three stones? Alice could either remove one or three stones on her first turn. If she removed three stones, she would lose immediately. If she removed one stone, she would still lose, as two is a winning state. If we started with four stones, Alice would win, as she could remove one stone on her first turn, leaving Bob in a losing state with three stones. If we continue like this, we would observe that odd numbers are losing states, while even numbers are winning states. Let's prove it now. Suppose there is an odd number of stones remaining in the pile. All factors of odd numbers are odd numbers. Hence, we are required to remove an odd number of stones, leaving an even number for our opponent on their turn. The opponent can always remove one stone on their turn, forcing the number of stones to remain odd on our turn. Hence, we would be forced to remove the last stone, leading to a loss. In the given problem, Alice starts with 4,023 stones, which is odd. Hence, Bob will win in this case. Now let's look at the harder follow-up problem. Alice and Bob are again playing a game. Initially, all natural numbers from 1 to 6,048 are written on a board. During each turn, a player must remove a number from the board that is still available. Additionally, the player is required to remove all the remaining factors of that number in the same move. The game continues until one player removes the final number on the board. Whoever removes the final number is the winner. If Alice plays first, who will win if both players play optimally? Try to solve this on your own. We hope you liked the video. If you are serious about excelling at quant interviews, we invite you to check out our course, Quant Interview Masterclass, where we cover the entire theory and over 1,000 high quality problems, including company specific problems from recent interviews. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Until then, Godspeed.